Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. Somebody asked how all my Latorias are doing um, on the grounds that they were all relatively new to me. So um, as I'm watering, I'll, uh, I'll gather those together. There's a few going to sneak into this section that are not strictly speaking Latorias, but because they come from similar areas and get exactly the same treatment, I've put them with the Latorias in my mind so that I can make sure they get the same sort of treatment and the same care. Um, so let's have a go at that then. Um, this thing is going mad. This was a new plant last year and all of the canes on it <laughs> appear to be new growths, <laughs> which is a strange thing to own. But this is Dendrobium bolenianum and all the canes, every single one of them is still growing. They are all still in active growth. I mean it's got four canes on it, that's what it had when I got it. No signs of new growth yet. Um, but the canes aren't mature yet. I, I hate to think how tall this is going to get. <laughs> it's a biggie, but as you can see by the type of leaves, it's not strictly speaking a Latoria type, but it does come from the same sort of places. So. Uh, rather than have a set on its own. <laughs> it just gets lumped in with them. Uh, let's get that one out of the way because that's a biggie. I'm on a clumsy day today so I'm having to take care. I keep knocking things over. So say, sometimes I'm not in the mood and I just have to get on with it and uh, I don't do as well when I'm doing that. Um, this is Roy Tokunaga uh, White Knight. Um, this has bloomed for me in the past on this cane, put up two spikes out of the apex. Now because my, all my Latorias are relatively new to me, I'm still getting my head round the pattern, uh, the growth pattern and the blooming pattern. And they, they seem to, so far, I can only say so far because I've had none of them that long, um, they seem to have nubbins in the apex of the cane that can sit there for a hell of a long time and then suddenly start to grow and bloom. Um, I don't know how mature my plants are, that's the problem, but um, I have seen Latoria types bloom from ba back down the spike, not just from the apex, but that seems to happen on the more mature, larger plants rather than plants with this few canes. Um, I can't remember the... On this one, I think that's, that's a growth, that's my new growth, the last one. And again, it's got that nubbin in the top, but it hasn't moved yet. And I still, I'm still trying to work out what triggers the blooming on these. Is it the extra light in the summer? Is it the longer days? Is it the heat? Because it certainly isn't the winter, these are warm growers. <laughs> so unlikely to be triggered by the cooler temperatures, if you know what I mean. But this has got a lovely strong new glow growth on it, pushing up. Um, the old calcium will do that one, the world of good. <coughs> right, so this one is a much younger plant, and this one hasn't bloomed yet. This is Alexandria. Um, this is my new cane, so larger than the last cane. You can see this was grown on from a seedling, I suspect, because you can see the progression. You can see the tiny little bulbs getting bigger each time, to there, to there, and now to there. So how big it's going to get, I don't really know yet, and whether it will bloom on that latest growth or not, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But it's growing. Um, there's no new growths um, coming out at this point in time, but um, it's matured its latest cane, so that's the state of play with that one. Oof. Now this one is my struggling one. This was bought as a true seedling, tiny little plant, Stendrobium nora tokenaga. And um, the last new growth rotted off, um, and I thought it was going to lose the plant. But not long after that, it decided to push out another one, and um, Hopefully that one hangs in there. It's certainly got to a much larger size than the previous new growth, which literally only grew about half an inch and then just rotted. Um, I thought it was going to take the whole plant down, but um, hopefully I got it off in time and it's decided to push another little new growth out. That is a long way off blooming, years. <laughs> but when I was looking for the, um, 
Latoria types. I was almost prepared to take anything, um, but it's not like me to take a true seedling. The chances are I didn't quite know how small that plant was when I got it. Deceived. Ugh. Right, so this is the other one that is not a Latoria. This is an antelope, and it's the only one I've got. And when I see some reasonable ones, I will get more. I love the shape of the, the, the Dendrobium antelope types. They're wonderful. But again, they do come from a similar area to the Latoria type. So they are that type of um, Dendrobium. They're not a resting type as such. Um, the latest, these two canes are the canes I've grown and they're huge. And they are now mature. They both produce their terminal leaf. Um, how long I'm going to have to wait for blooms on that I don't know, but I would say it's now plenty large enough and strong enough to be able to bloom. But when? I haven't got a clue. Haven't had it long enough. <laughs> Simple as that. But um, yeah, I mean those two canes grew really well, much larger than anything previous on the plant, so good progress. Um, no signs of new ones yet, but the new canes it's funny that on this one, the new canes were heading well up to maturity before it started chucking out loads of new roots, which it's doing now. So, uh, yeah, That's, most dendrobiums push their new roots out earlier than that, but a good, strong, lovely plant. Well pleased with that one. That's, um, I forget what it is now, it's a, uh, it's black something. Let me get the tag out. So I'm just changing hands. I've got enough hands. Yeah, it's just called Black Antelope, and the pictures of the blooms which um, sparked off why I wanted it are the deepest purple. They really are almost black. And with that antelope shape, uh, if it ever does bloom, that's going to be quite a spectacle. Now, this one has bloomed several times. This is a cross, Polysema cross with Aberans. Um, now again, just going back to the calcium, the calcium is going to do this plant the world of good. It's got this new growth just opening its leaves, it's got another one here, got another one here behind the tag, and it's got another one here. So this plant is going mad. And the fact that it's blooming frequently on these size canes, I doubt if this plant's going to get too much taller than this, which is a bonus. <laughs> it, means, it means I can accommodate it. Um, Pretty blooms, lovely patterning on the back, so we've got a spike there, we've got a couple of blooms that are not far off opening there, and another spike that's trying to hide uh, around the back there, um, and this has bloomed before, so uh, th this is a mature plant, um, as I say, I don't think it will get much bigger than this, but it could get bushier, um, that seems to be a, a growth pattern on this one, that the new growths are coming out in all directions, so it's going to get to be quite a bush. A lot of plants develop in one direction. You know, they sort of creep across the pot until they try and climb out, whereas this one's putting up new growth all over the place. Well pleased with that one. That's a, that's a good one. Blooms aren't big, but they, their attractiveness is still there. Um, delicate markings on the front and more prominent markings on the back. So um, when this one's in bloom, I keep it quite low down so that I view it from the top because that's where the best colours are. So that's that one. And the last one, this is a very young plant. <laughs> and yet it's, this is the second time it's bloomed. It's bloomed on every cane. Um, I mean, I got it with next to nothing as a very, very young plant. And it grew this cane and bloomed, single bloom. And then it grew this one, and that bloomed. Two blooms this time, so progress. And this one has, is just starting a new growth at the base. So it's not a strong plant, it's not a mature plant, but it's still capable of blooming at that size. So I don't, again, I don't think this one's going to ever grow into a huge plant, but hopefully it will bush up and get quite a few new growths this season. And then we can have lots more blooms like that one. This one is pure white, basically. And if you view it from the top and don't look into the lip, it is almost pure white. The colours are in the lip. Yeah? So this one's better viewed from underneath, so that you can see those, um, the pretty veining and the uh, purple tinges on the lip. But apart from that, it's pure white.
So that's the Latorias, that's the state of play with uh, all of those, including a couple that sneak in at the side of the set, because they're not really Latorias, but uh, I grow them in exactly the same manner, so I'm happy to keep them uh, as a set that way.